So some of the features, uh, as I said before, the low profile, it is the key to do good, good measurements. Secondly, we have manufactured, we are selling what we call a flow optimized fairing. And this fairing, it is evening out the sharp edge on the microphone here. So you're using this holder or fairing to actually fixate the microphone on the surface. So what you do, you take a double-sided tape and you're taping it to the surface. And then you use this slot here to slide in the sensor. It goes into a locking mechanism and then it is locked in the holder and you can do the measurement. And after the measurement, you just retract it again. And then for the next test, maybe two weeks later, you can still use the same position, which means that you can have a comparable measurement two weeks after using exactly the same position, using exactly the same mounting um, fairing. This fairing has a angle of 7.5 uh, degrees, which is ensuring that uh, there is no uh, flow induced uh, problems here. So I'm also stressing quality data and you say quality data. Well, I'm always getting quality data, but if you're thinking here, this is a, this is a condenser microphone, which means that it is coming with individual calibration charge. So all the microphone has been calibrated in the calibration lab before it is uh, uh, shipped to our customers. They are getting a individual calibration chart and they are including TED's functionality. So I have the electronic data sheet as well. So, and then as I said before, it has a simple connection. Uh, so there's only one cable, you connect it to your analyzer and it is uh, pre, um, you don't need to have any power supply or anything like that. It is also using the TEDS functionality, as I said. So a little bit of a wrap up on the mounting principle. You fix the sensor and this test, by the way, it is not a aeroacoustic test in a common sense here. This is, uh, I think it is mounted in a small cavity on a car. So you mount the holder or the fairing, and then you are sliding in the sensor into the locking mechanism here, and it will say click. And when it has clicked, then it is fixed. And then you can extract it with a small pin or a paper clip, because it's a small hole here that you can actually um, put a pin in and you can extract it. So you have a very secure mounting uh, by the fairing. Here is uh, the same equivalent with the uh, uh, strip. Now you can see you have the strip, you have the blue area here where it is supposed that you should use uh, double, no, sorry, uh, tape, masking tape, and you use this masking tape and then you are mounting it in a very short time. So, uh, I'll show you a small, uh, uh, I'll show you the, the movie after this slide here. What we have also built in this concept, in this family, it is a uh, um, adapter for the calibrator. So even if you have mounted a microphone on a slightly curved area, uh, you can easily use this, this adapter, calibration adapter to verify that the system is okay before you're doing the measurement. So what you do, you can see here, it is consisting of a small cushion and this cushion has some distance legs. So you're pushing it down over gently over the, the sensor. And then when the cavity is uh, stable, the volume, then it will turn green here. And then you can start the calibration with 250 Hertz or one kilohertz in the normal way, how you're normally calibrating microphones. So this is how we do it in field. Of course, we also have a, a, a full calibration adapter set. <coughs> Sorry for that. So you can do all kinds of calibrations in the Cal Lab. 
So all in all, it's a very uh, strong um, concept. This, and I will show you how you are fixing it with the with the, the strip, and you can take a look at the watch and see how long time it actually takes to mount the microphones. Here you see you're finding the right position. You are just using the tape. You are fixing it like this, and this area, it's a slightly curved area, so it doesn't matter. You're fixing the cable. It's a one single cable coming out to the breakout box, or a breakout cable, I should say, because it's not really a box, it's, a, it's only a cable. So then you're fixing it on the sides here, and when that is done, you're ready for the test. So just to do a little bit of a retest or move it a little bit, you just take it off and you fix it on another spot. So this is really, really efficient. So apart from the air acoustics, you can also do what we call the cavity testing. Uh, so here we have on the tailgate of a car, uh, we are interested to quantify the noise down in this cavity here. And uh, what you can do, you can mount a sensor fairing, you can fix or you can mount the microphone, and then you close the tailgate, and then you can do quantification of the noise inside this uh, by taping some areas and then see what is the difference and see where do you have any spots that you need to focus on. So in order to wrap up, we call this uh, three words, flat, fast, and precise. Flat because it is really, really essential not to disturb the turbulent flow. Fast because we have uh, done the line array, one cable out, leave the fairing, use it again. CCP, TEDS, everything is making it so simple to do your measurement. And precise, it is giving quality data because this is based on a condenser microphone having individual calibration charge and you can validate the measurement chain before and after any measurement. So all in all, flat, fast and precise. If you're having questions about price and availability, you are welcome to contact our local grass representative in your country and you can have an overview that is available on www at uh, dot grass dot tk. If you have any questions, as I said before, you can write that in the chat function of this presentation, or you can send it uh, on a mail to lw at grass .tk, and I will answer you individually. So I also promised you some feedback from customers, and I have one more slide in this presentation, and I will leave it on for the next five ten minutes. And if you're interested, you can uh, read what they have said. And otherwise, I would like to wish you a uh, good, uh, have a good day. And thank you so much for the attention. And I hope that you have learned something new about uh, how easy it is to do air acoustic good measurements. Thank you very much and hope to see you in real life soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.